Where do I even start with this video? Electronic Arts bothers me more than probably anything in my whole life. And that's not news. It should be clear to anyone who watches this channel, I don't really like EA and they don't like me either. That's fine. And I will admit, sometimes I'm a little baby. Throw an interception and I blame EA. That's my fault. But what I saw today ticked me off so bad and I think it is 100% justified. And I genuinely would love some answers. So I log into Instagram and the first thing I see is a post from EA Madden NFL. The only social media I'm not blocked on. I'm just gonna let you watch and then we can discuss. Where does my frustration even start with? I think I'll just start by saying how unbelievably tone deaf do you have to be at Electronic Arts to actually make this shit. I would actually have preferred that they did absolutely no updates to anything and that I never saw this shit ever. It would be one thing if I could confidently think to myself, EA does not have the time, money, or effort to update the things that we genuinely want. But when you show me this, it is the biggest slap in the face imaginable. Electronic Arts, you are telling me and the rest of you play Madden that you have the time, you have the money, you have the team, and you have the effort to make brand new custom stadiums, brand new custom game mode, brand new custom uniform, brand new animations. There were fucking fish sticks for fans. You're telling me you can do all of that, but you're pumping that energy into a dog shit, corny ass, SpongeBob collaboration for the yard. There are maybe two people on this entire planet who give half of a shit about that. If you had taken even 50% of the energy toward this and put it into fixing any of the plethora of issues of franchise mode or improving major gameplay flaws that people see online, you would receive such a better response. Now I can understand if there's two guys sitting in a room on an indie game developer for a football game and they're completely out of touch and they're like 35 years old and they're sitting in the room and they're like, hey dude, what if we put SpongeBob in our football game? And the other guy's like, ha yeah bro, that's such a good idea. And then they put a bunch of time and effort into doing it and then it totally flops. That's understandable as an indie game developer. This is a major corporation. This idea was thought up, pitched, sketched, drafted, approved, given a dick ton of money and teams and effort to execute it, and then it was published. How the How fuck, the fuck, is, fuck that is that possible? This went through multiple people. Multiple people thought this was a good idea. I could grab a homeless man off the street and he would tell me that is a bad idea. How did that possibly get through? I don't get it. I really, I straight up do not understand how this shit goes through. I, I don't fucking know, dude. Let's go through the comments on this post on Instagram. Top comment is me flaming them. I'm on my way to a block and honestly, I don't care. Fans, please fix your game. EA, hee hee, SpongeBob football. Everyone, fix franchise, Madden. Imagine adding SpongeBob to Madden instead of actually fixing the plethora of issues the game has. Wow, that's damn near what I said. Good shit. Madden players, I want a real simulation game. EA, haha, <laughs> SpongeBob. Servers were down all day for something we didn't ask for while you still haven't fixed franchise. Y'all are really trying to ruin SpongeBob, huh? Just fix franchise. Mode. Not what we meant when we said fix franchise. Fix franchise, not this crap. Fix the game before adding cartoon characters. This is cool, but next patch, update, fix, franchise. This constructive criticism that still tells them to, to do something else is our first positive comment. So this is why networks were down. Legitimately pisses me off more than anything how good this is. How clearly well done all of this is. Like they didn't just slap Nickelodeon on the end of an already, you know, pre-cut stadium. An entire guy, like that's the crusty crab, bro. They got the Nickelodeon blimp. They got this gigantic SpongeBob blimp. They have three different stadiums. It's all really good. What a massive, unbelievable waste of resources. How do pieces of content like SpongeBob Reef Top get approved in Madden when a majority of the fan base clearly wants entirely different things? I don't understand how it's, it's, it's mind boggling. It's gonna keep me up at night. Maybe I'm on an island about this. Maybe this is not uh, how everyone feels. Maybe you guys are all absolutely grinding SpongeBob Reef Top right now. But my intuition tells me nobody gives half of a flying shit about this. And yet somebody had to go in there and animate a goddamn Ooh. flying SpongeBob blimp for a week at work.
I don't think I'm ever gonna get an answer. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. Keep grinding SpongeBob Reef Top, bro. I'm gonna be grinding right after this. We gotta unlock all the uniforms, boys. Let's go, let's get it. Hey, right, have a good day, gentlemen. Peace.